Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another vlog. Well, all I can say is that this one is going to be a whirlwind, super exciting. Marcus and I, Marcus and me, are off to the airport. We are on our way to Parma and we have a whole week planned. It is honestly going to be incredible. It's not a holiday, unfortunately, this trip. We are shooting everything spring, summer. So everything from beach wear, swim wear, spring, summer jewelry. We are doing um, experiences, working with a concierge company, luxury villas, boats, all of the above. And it is going to be incredible. So as I said, we're obviously in the car. John is driving, very lucky. Marcus looks as though he's, I don't know, on his Hi. way to the French Riviera. I, on the other hand, are very chilled at time because I have had a spray tan. It's not really me to have a spray tan, but I couldn't be literally as pale as pale can be shooting swimwear on a beach, can I? I need a little bit of a summer glow. On our way to Heathrow, Claudia is meeting us there and it's just going to be the most incredible week and I cannot wait to share everything with you. So we have just arrived at the airport and look at this glamour puss. I mean, full silk outfit. Oh, just incredible. So we are just about to go to the lounge, but I have had such an exciting, well, I get these email notifications that when you guys comment on my YouTube channel, and I've just had a comment to say that one of my incredible subscribers is currently sat at the hairdressers and she's been flicking through Tatler and has seen a picture of me, like, so I'm literally just stood outside WH Smith and I'm gonna go and see whether I can find a Tatler and find this picture. Literally so excited. Why do we think it's gonna be? <laughs> I'm sure. Yes. Do we think it's gonna be in the June? Yes. Do you think it's gonna be in the June? Maybe it's in last season's. No, okay, so we've got Tatler. That's the cover. The Royal Coronation Special. I mean, what an amazing look yes. at her. It's a beautiful jewelry. Yeah, right. Jewelry. Okay. So they have like a section where there's like lots of people. Maybe it's in here. It'd be Gucci. Oh, look at De Beers. Exactly. Oh, beautiful. I mean, honestly, this is like going to make my entire year. <laughs> this one. Where is it? Okay, so they have like a bystander, I believe. So. Okay, here's the bystander. Right. Okay. Where okay. Are we? So, who do we have? Sarah. Sarah Tyndall. We've got the Princess Royal, Jade Holland Cooper, Ed Westwick. Ed Westwick. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much. Um, Lydia Millen, Charlotte Tilbury. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. Sorry. It's you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, it's a it's small my girl. picture, but. Look at that. <gasps> okay, I need to buy this. We need to buy all of them. All of them. <laughs> we can't walk through Heathrow and not stop at the Fortnum's bar. So we're going to have some delicious breakfast. I do think we need to have a little glass of bubbles just to cheers the beginning of a really, really successful <laughs> and exciting week. And then at the end, we'll be lying on the floor like, help us. Also, I, I really hope I'm not going to be looking like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards with no makeup on. I promise you, I am going to look slightly better than I do now. How can I walk through the airport with this beauty? Look at her. She is absolutely exquisite. And I just, I can't wait for this week. Look at how beautiful this looks.
landed. We have arrived in Santani. I'm still with my film star <laughs> over here. And the fam is back together. It's so lovely. We are actually just crossing over with my parents and Cami. Seems to me that lots of you now love Cameron and he is here. He's still actually a little bit stiff after the marathon, but we are yeah. off for dinner this evening in Santani. We're going to have a couple of cocktails. We're going to enjoy this beautiful weather and then we're going to get an early night because we have a serious week ahead of us. I will give you a full debrief as to our plans, who I'm working with this week, the clothes, the experiences, everything from helicopters to boats to sunsets, jewelry, to school and everything. <laughs> everything in between. Oh, it's like a road. Can't wait. Good morning, my angels. Well, we have woken up and it is the most spectacular day. Bright blue skies and it is already, I think, around about 23, 24. It is certainly going to be a scorcher. And we are, I think, pinch punch. Is it the first of the month? Yeah, Pinch fun. punch! Happy 1st of May, how exciting! We have the most incredible day planned to start off the week as we mean to go on. I am so excited to be working with My World at VIP this week and it's actually a brand that I've worked with before but completely personally. So as you know we've been coming to Mallorca as a family for years, really in search of the perfect home but when we've been coming we've been renting villas and it's always quite difficult to get reservations, to organize incredible experiences. So I have been working with My World VIP completely personally and Hayley is the most incredible woman. She founded and created the brand trying to create the most exceptional experiences for clients that were coming to Mallorca. Doing different things, going to amazing restaurants and just making that luxury experience super simple. So she she got in touch with me because obviously I've been flying to Mallorca so much and saying that she'd love to do something together. So this week she has arranged the most incredible itinerary. Honestly, it's really something else. She shares this amazing Google Doc that is almost like a working document and today we are going for the most unbelievable wine tour. So we have a car collecting us in about 15 minutes that's going to take us actually to the other side of the island and we will be doing the My World VIP signature wine tour experience. I believe there is a helicopter involved but it's just going to be amazing and I'm going to be sharing everything that we do, all the campaigns we're shooting, the boat days, the choppers, the dinners, the food. As you know I'm a patron pepper queen and I will be sharing everything with you. My World VIP have just arrived and they're very very kindly taking us to the wine tour today. We have just arrived at Canpisa and it is so beautiful. The drive in, the trees, the surroundings. But what I think makes Canpisa different is the spectacular finca that they have here. The vineyard has been in the family for generations and generations. And Julian, who is the owner, is very, very going to kindly take us around and give us the full tour. So we can ask him lots of different questions. We will be tasting some fine wines, some spectacular wines, and really some showstoppers that no one has seen before but I will also give you a tour of the Finca because it is absolutely stunning and really this is an experience that you can do all year round. In the winter months Mallorca can actually be a little bit chilly and I think people think when it's raining when it's cold what is there to do here well this is something that is just mind-blowing this really is a VIP money can't buy experience so let's go and have a little look look around. We have 
just arrived a little bit early, which is fantastic because it means I can give you guys a really, really quick tour of the magnificent thinker. As I was saying, this is such an experience that you can do all year round because the house is stunning. So let's go and take a little look. This is one of my favorite rooms in the house. It is the old kitchen. This is really back, back, back in the day, I think hundreds of years ago, where they bottled the wine. It has got a little bit more impressive than this, but how special is this? They've even got like a little cubby hole, which is where they sat and they had dinner with the open fire. It is so atmospheric and beautiful. And as you know, I am obsessed with serving platters and how amazing are these terracotta pots. Let's go and have a little look around. Mind the step. <laughs> Here we have the dining room. I love the lighting. They've got some incredible china. It's just such a lovely feeling in here. It's such a family home. And all the sheep, the goats, it's amazing. They've got all the bottles dotted around everywhere. We will have a little look at the wine later on. And through here we have another very, very cosy and such an atmospheric dining room. As you can see, they've got the traditional Mallorquian stone, beautiful wooden table. And I really think that this is for like a winter wine tasting, especially with the log fire, so warm and cosy. But through here is where the magic happens. So let's go and take a look. But I'm gonna warn you, don't look down. <laughs> so I am scared of heights. And there is glass where you can see down to the old wine cellar that existed underneath the house. Through here is where the barrels are. Oh gosh, this is what I don't like. So, underneath here is where the bottles are stored. Now something that is so special, they do not sell the wine under here at all. It is something that you can taste when coming to the vineyard. It doesn't even have a label. It collects a lot of dust and trust me when I say it is creme de la creme. But here we have some of the Campisa barrels and through here we have picked the perfect week to come because it is when they are bottling the wine. So we have the massive containers and today we are going to be spoken about the process, the vines, how they press it. It's 100% organic. And what we're going to be doing today, which is so exciting, is literally trying the wine straight from the nozzle before it's even been bottled. I am so excited. We've got Claudia down here working her magic, getting all the close-ups, looking so fabulous. But as I said, this is where they keep the family bottles. Now, none of this gets sold. They do not even have labels. Isn't this quite something? I brought my father here about four years ago. And my father, as you guys know, is a wine connoisseur. This is his passion and his hobby. So he knows just about everything there is to know about wine and really rather difficult. Hang on a moment, I'm gonna turn you around. And he is so difficult to please, especially on a wine tour or a vineyard experience. And he had the best time and learned so much. But what makes Campisa different, what I think makes it different, is the family aspect. It has been in the family for generations and generations. And fingers crossed I can get Julian to tell us the spine-tingling story behind it. Here we have an incredible incredible Land Rover which will be taking us out just to go and have a little look at all the different vines but look at this spectacular view isn't that quite something it is so beautiful and we will be enjoying a drop of wine underneath these beautiful trees We are in the landy and we are on our way to the heli 
helicopter. Please excuse, there are no seat belts because this is a 1977 Landy. So exciting, the team are in the back. <laughs> and Julian is here. This is so exciting. Look at this view. Are you guys okay back there? Yeah, we're fine. just got back to the Finca and we have a beautiful table set up for us with the most magnificent view. The helicopter was absolutely incredible. Hopefully I've been able to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes actually seeing these vines really really up close. We are now going to the table. I'm going to turn you around and show you this view. This is our table for the wine tasting. It's just so beautiful amongst the fig trees, amongst the cacti, and how extraordinary is that view? I see the sea, literally the blue bit there, the sky, and this is the sea. I'm sorry, I'm talking so loudly, hoping that I don't get a copyright claim, but this is just so special. Something incredible to do if you're on a family holiday, if it's a wedding anniversary, you could also get engaged here. It could be a honeymoon. This is such a special experience and I'm just so grateful to be here. Julian has just given us the first question and it is absolutely delicious. It is as natural as it gets. It was grown here, it was bottled here, and as Julian says, it is fortified brave. It is really quite delicious. We are having just the most special afternoon. So this is the first look shot. We've got the video footage, we've got the images, and it's gonna be really quite something special. I'm now changing dress to drink the famous blue wine. Gosh, it is so bright, but the second look is on. One of my favorite dresses of all time, which I just think pairs with the beautiful Tivon Tanzanite. Look at these drop earrings and the necklace. It is stunning. I just cannot wait. I know I always say this, but I cannot wait for you to see what we've shot. It's just amazing. We have finally sat down after a very, very long day of filming. Claudia has been an absolute boss woman. The man here, the owner of these exceptional wines. Can you tell us a little bit the story behind the brand, the wines, the vines, and just this incredible experience that you offer here? Well, um, we have to date back from uh, down to 1626. That's when uh, the title of uh, this property appears under a surname of an old relative from my mother. I'm so proud and so lucky that none of our previous nine generations uh, sold the property, you know, which yeah. is very tempting nowadays. So, um, and as you can see, we make wine for ourselves and now we have guests, but uh, our goal is not to sell wine. Uh, we do all with the latest technology, but respecting the roots and the history of the wine production which is uh, selecting everything by hand, cutting everything by hand, uh, single vineyard, that's really important. And is it true in saying that the majority of mass-produced wines are actually selected by machines? So they're taking leaves, they're taking some little branches, they're well, taking in sometimes some snails, indeed. whereas obviously yourselves, you're Don't picking it lizards. by hand. Oh, <gasps> bit of lizard wine! <laughs> what does that taste like? Drink local, buy local, the, the yes, closer you are 100%. to the farmers, the healthier it is. Wine is grape, no, don't forget that, wine is grape. And grape needs to be drank or eaten near the farmers. Incredible, well, thank you so much. But one quick question. Tell me. Can you talk us the story behind the blue wine? Well, blue wine, as you can see here, it's a... Uh, it. it's a... Uh, it was a crazy idea in 2016. This was made only for, uh, for, one, for one party. 
and uh, and started as a joke, right? And uh, <laughs> and at the end, this is a wine we still have. We make a different vintage every year. Uh, we make this colorant with uh, with different blossoms. So it's 100% uh, natural and it's made from blossom and that's blossom. why it turns blue. Correct. Incredible. Well, thank you so, so thank much. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having us. What an incredible day. For the very last part of the tour, we are going to try the wine in the tanks a week before it is being bottled. Now, this is really quite an experience and I think we're so lucky to come at this time of year literally they are bottling it next week and when I say winery and vineyard a lot of people will say well you know is that not the same thing you see the traditional vines that go in the lines and that is a vineyard a winery is where they actually press it they create it and bottle it and obviously here they do both and today has just been an experience of a lifetime Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I was waiting for my laptop. I was like, where have they gone? <laughs> this is the one you will taste, but this is food, food for thought for next time you come, okay? Okay. This, this is a rosé wine that we make here. In France, they call it Blanc de Noir. Blanc de Noir. Blanc de Noir, it's a, it's a white looking wine made with red grape. Oh, wow. The the color of rosé depends on how much time goes between when you cut the stem to when you press those grapes into juice. Okay. okay. The faster you do it, the less color that you have. The slower you do it, the more color you have. This one was direct press and it came out like that. You want to taste it? Everybody want to try it or not? Of course. <laughs> Sorry. Of course. <laughs> this is something very, so very, very good. Huh? It's different. I, I must say, it's buttery, it's sweet, but the it's, aftertaste... It's, it's totally different. We do what is called gravity wine, which is uh, we just crush the grape with a machine that distems the grape. There's a machine that separates the stem from the grape. And this grape goes into a sieve, a colander, similar to what we do with the spaghetti and water, right? Oh, interesting. So we just uh, put the grape in there, and by gravity, the juice is dripping down, okay? This is, in, a, in, in English, you call it free flow wine, you call it free run wine. In Spanish, we call it much more, it's much more beautiful, called vino flor. Vino flor. Flower wine. Like okay. So yeah. flower wine is the, flower wine is the, is the most elegant, delicate, beautiful wine of any wine. The problem is that wineries must pay the bills. So they have to press those skins sometimes too much to get every single drop every of wine to mix it with the flower wine, the, the free run, and make something for the market, okay? If you don't have the pressure for selling wines as we don't, we only make free run wine, okay? Big waste, probably we waste 55% of our grape, we don't care. But you create the best of the We best. create something, something healthy. Many people have migraine intolerance to some red wines, and they think it's the sulfites, and it's not the sulfites, it's the tannins. Because those wineries, supermarket wineries, they press too much the skins and yeah, they get many liters out. But the site or the, the tax you have to pay for that is that the tannins are so high That's and many people have intolerance to tannins. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So our wines are totally different. They are super low in tannins because we don't press them. We let the wine flow naturally by the gravity yeah. of the planet. Nothing more, nothing less. Incredible. Right. And when are you bottling this wine? So I feel very, very special to well, you, you have, trying this If you wine. are not very busy next week, probably we're going to do it next, <laughs> next Thursday, next Friday. I'm going to no, put it in. Bring, bring, bring your, those followers, we're doing nothing. <laughs> okay, all the them. subscribers are invited. Yeah, with the necklace, no, no, bring them all. Amazing, they're all invited. Ready, one stop. Now, you will taste the, the 2022. I planted this vineyard years ago, I caught this grape with my mates, and I fermented it here, so I know what's inside this time. You are so passionate. When you have three million bottles, you don't know where the grape is coming from. You don't know who found that grape. Do you know, I must stop you that. Do you know what makes this whole, I mean, the vines, you, what makes this whole experience so special is just the passion that you have and the way you speak about it and the story and actually the thinker. I mean, there are, I hope you don't mind me saying, there are lots of different tours in Mallorca that you can go and so do. So many. 
But what's mm. actually different is the fact that how many generations this has been in your family and the thinker and just today has been so spectacular and trying it from the tank. Well, you will be the first of your group this in this one now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. Good. And this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up for you and tell me all in knows what you find. Oh. There you go. Ooh. Enjoy it. I feel like cherries. It's jasmine. Ooh. A little bit of fake. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is what wine has to has to feel like. You know, wine can only be fruit. Incredible, incredible. It tastes delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. I hope you all had the most gorgeous bank holiday weekend. As you can see, I've got the hair and rollers and I have the most exceptional, flawless makeup. I'm in the makeup chair and this is Izzy. <laughs> so exciting, she is the makeup artist for this week's shoot and she has created the most breathtaking makeup. Well, I think actually, let's let the expert talk us through, what did you do today? Um, so first things first, brush up the brows, get that laminated look without it looking too crazy. Um, then we went in with some eye makeup, the Natasha Denona Biba palette, a must have for neutral lovers. I am in love with this. It's like it's a golden glow, not too much. It's, it's amazing. It's gorgeous. We slightly winged it out ever so slightly, super gorgeous, some individual lashes um, to give that wispy, gorgeous like look to the eyes that's not too heavy so it's very really daytime appropriate but you can definitely add more it's and then glam it up for a nighttime yes. look and then foundation dior backstage best foundation ever some no. the two face concealers i love them and then for like uh also the flawless filter around to bronze up the face and yeah. give it that ethereal glow which you already have by yourself oh. Apart from that, we just this added is some. so stunning. I always learn so many tips yeah. and tricks. And as you know, Marta did my makeup last time. She has literally back-to-back -back weddings and Izzy is her number two. And she literally <laughs> is incredible. She trained with her. She supports her on weddings. She also has her own business. So if any of you are getting married in Mallorca, Izzy is your woman. So she is your I woman. You. I'm you. so excited to shoot with this makeup and I can't oh. wait to see how we glam it up for tonight. I am so excited. Oh, I love good. natural glam, but glam glam is fun too. I love it. So I'm Let's super excited. Do this. <laughs> we are in the car and on the way to the first shoot location. Look at the team. Claudia has a mirror. <laughs> I have to blow myself, you can do good <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so I'm so sorry guys. We've got Marcus driving. I have plenty of space. <laughs> <laughs> I am going a very, very chilled attire and then we are putting on some magnificent dresses. As you guys know, we don't do things in halves. We go all out, full glam and the jewellery. I will give you a full on close up and showcase the brand new candy collection by Tip On Fine Jewellery. We've got four campaigns to shoot during the day and then we are shooting two campaigns tonight with the most insane backdrop. I'm gonna leave it as a surprise because I'm sure it's going to take your breath away. So we are at the shoot location in the beautiful gardens and I'm wearing this stunning Norma Kamali dress. But look at this jewellery. You have seen this necklace before because I shot it last week, but today we are shooting the full campaign footage and images specifically for Tivon Fine Jewellery. Some beautiful earrings, look at that. A ring and also this stunning ring that matches the necklace. Honestly, I am absolute heaven. The sun is shining. Claudia is just setting up the cinematic lens. You're going to get some incredible content, some amazing footage of this jewelry. And yeah, it's gonna be a busy day. So let's keep going.
look two is done. We shot the beautiful Tanzanite again. The same ones. Oh, the sun, the lighting is not great. <laughs> I am on the move. We shot these beautiful Tanzanites again with this incredible normal Kamali dress. I've just had a sandwich, so please excuse if I've got sandwich around my face. I am now going back into the house to change into the third and final outfit that we will be shooting here. Just walking back down to where we're filming. Please excuse the drilling. The builders are working on the pool today. But look at this view amongst these beautiful orange trees. Isn't that just incredible? So many oranges. And what a beautiful view across the gardens. Down by the fountain, the girls are waiting for me. I have just changed into outfit three. Some beautiful jewelry on. I will turn the camera around and show you because it is brand spanking new. Third look is on, makeup is touched up and I am walking to where Claudia has found a breathtaking spot to shoot this. I want to get in some daylight so I can show you how stunning these jewellery pieces are. Now this is a brand new, hang on a memento, there we go, brand new necklace from the Candy Collection. It's so new it has not been named yet but as you can see it's been set in a really different way which I love. Slightly diagonal pendant with just the most beautiful rare gemstones. Also got a matching pair of earrings and a stunning ring. Is that not just breathtaking? So we have just finished filming the super close-up shots. So as this is a full-on campaign shoot for Tivon, well today is a full-on campaign shoot for Tivon, we are shooting all the product shots as well for e-com, for the brochures, the website, as well as socials for Tivon, myself, which is really, really exciting. I'm sorry, the light is going from <laughs> one to the other. We're just walking through the garden down to the David Austin garden, which is where the roses are. And I will give you guys a little bit of a tour as I walk down. We are going to get some a little bit um, distant shots of me walking through the roses, which I think will look stunning. You okay, my darling? It's Gold and Claudia carrying all the cameras. And as you can hear, the wonderful drilling noise in the background. We have beautiful gardens. I'm so sorry about the drilling. It is a lot more tranquil <laughs> than this normally. They've done such a beautiful job of pruning and it is literally just about to explode with color. But we are going to shoot down by the roses and I cannot wait for you to see it. So just through these beautiful little gates here. This is everything I love. I just think so much character, these stunning wooden gates. And this is one of the rose gardens. Look at the pink. Look at that. And it goes all the way down give you a little bit of a close-up of one of these roses. Aren't they incredible? Claudia has just gone to go and get another lens which gives me a little bit of time to be able to show you a bit more of this garden. So as you can see we've got all the pale pink David Austin roses and they go all the way down and then all the way up the other side. But just to give you a close-up of these incredible flowers Aren't they beautiful? They're very, very similar to Leonora roses, actually. Do you know what? How incredible would that be if these were Leonora roses? I actually really need to check on that because they are so similar. And the scent, I keep saying, is that my perfume or is that one of the girls' perfumes? And it's not. It's the heavenly scent from the garden. We also have a beautiful jasmine uh, pergola and we were just shooting in there and it is so fragrant and incredible. This is truly something else. I've actually never been here when the roses have been in full bloom. And look at how many buds there are still to come. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm really, really hoping that the camera is picking up just the incredible sense of beauty. This is so special. 
so, so special. I truly feel that every single corner of this garden is the perfect shoot location. Also have these beautiful little paths. If I have my time again, Marcus and I need to renew our vows <laughs> in the garden and we could do a whole another bridal shoot. This is just amazing. And then we have another little pathway here and it opens up. And as you can see, the lavender and the roses line the way. Oh, we have a beautiful little chicken. Are you going to come and say hi? Aren't you gorgeous? Aren't you gorgeous? Oh, chicken run, chicken run. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. I'm afraid Cloudy is probably waiting for me. I am back. The sun is still shining. I've certainly got some sun today. I'm worried about Cloudy getting sunstroke. Whoa. We are back. We are glamming up the makeup. I mean, I know I look super glam anyway, but obviously when it's a photo shoot, um, the makeup is a little bit heavier than normal. The content we shot today. I am so excited to share with you. It is, I just think it's so different and everything, the whole creative direction is just mesmerizing. I'm so happy. I'm grinning. Honestly, on days like this, my face hurts so much, not only from smiling and posing so much, but just the fact that I'm, I'm so happy and grateful that it's all come together how I had wished for it to and how I'd planned it's just it's just been amazing we're now going to pop the hair up and sort of glam up the makeup and we just finished the makeup and look at the glow the hair has gone up off the face and we are off to shoot in golden hour. <sighs> Today has honestly been I, I genuinely feel like a dream has come true with this shoot. Just the brands that I'm working with, the content is just getting bigger and better than ever. The editing, the songs, the creative direction, the outfits, the jewelry, the brands. It's insane, absolutely insane. And tonight is going to be Wow, tonight we have big plans. Um, the sun is setting in about an hour and a half. It is 10 to 8. We are shooting a very, very glam, sexy number from Holland Cooper. I can't wait. Change of plan. We are now not going to Palma. Too busy and I'm worried that there's just going to be too many people and that's just not my style of content. So, oh my gosh. We're coming back tomorrow here. That is not. Oh my gosh, let me turn this around. So Marcus has found a hidden gem. Look at this. Oh my goodness me. The colour of the water is just breathtaking. Turquoise. Marcus, how did you find this? <gasps> this is amazing. What? an astounding view. The birds, the sky, the moon, and just the turquoise, crystal clear waters. You can see the rocks at the bottom. It is just stunning. Right, we are coming back here tomorrow to shoot Golden Hour for Alexandre Miro and a brand called Sasha Lemur, which is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to show it to you. And also how I style it. I apologize for my panting. I'm currently climbing a very, very steep staircase. Anyway, the plan is that we are going to have some dinner and then we are shooting Holland Cooper, one of my favorite dresses of theirs. It's from their classic collection. I will show it to you and I'm also gonna show you how I style it. <laughs> Very warm welcome by the team at East 26. So we're just going to come for a bite to eat quickly. Here we go. Oh, my goodness me. That looks incredible. Thank you so much. It looks spectacular. We need to make some space. We've got the sweet potato, we've got truffle mash. 
Guys, we've got the Tomahawk. Thank you so much, Max. This looks incredible. And how you've carved it is beautiful. We've got grilled vegetables. We've got a salad. Marcus has a glass of red wine. And I have a Hugo. Hugo's for myself. Thank you so much, sir. That looks amazing. As you can see, we have just arrived at this evening's shoot location in front of this magnificent cathedral here in Santony. You have the palm trees, you have the Mallorquian stone, and it is the perfect backdrop to this exquisite Holland Cooper outfit. And this is quite possibly my favorite dress from their classic collection. It is this beautiful off the shoulder Bordeaux sweater dress. It is a black midi, so it is the perfect length. I am in love with every single detail. You have the iconic gold buttons, the beautiful Bardo neckline, which really shows off a woman's decolletage. It is sexy, it is classic, it is super elegant. And to finish off this outfit to perfection, I have the brand spanking new Mayfair bag. Now this is in natural with the stunning black leather piping. You have the iconic HC on the front and a stunning horn-like handle. And I think it goes with this outfit to perfection. I've also popped on a pair of my favorite Tivon fine jewelry hoops along, wait for it, with a Manolo pump. Right, I'm going to set up my camera just so that you can see the behind the scenes of a luxury by Leonora shoot with Holland Cooper. We have really rather got carried away with this look, but everything looks sensational. It's the neckline, it's the buttons, there's just so many incredible details on this dress that I am obsessed with. And when two very passionate creative people get together, we just can't help ourselves. It is, Marcus, time check? Um, it is uh, 35 minutes past vodka and tonic. <laughs> Baby, what time is it? It's 20, 20 past 12. 20 past 12 a.m. A.m. I don't know how many hours we've been shooting at this point, but I am so proud of what we have just created. It is chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. 